Hello everyone, welcome to How to Code. Today's topic LRU page replacement algorithm. Let's solve it. As input, we have number of pages and we have to store them inside some frames. Okay, so as input, uh, right now I have 23217, 5 pages are available and number of frames available 3. Okay, now as output, I have to find out the page fault count. Okay, so three frames are available F1, F2, and F3. Let's solve the problem. So, at the beginning, uh, we don't have any pages inside the frames. Okay, so first, what we have to do, we have to compare the page with the contents of the frames. If the page is not available, that is page fault, otherwise, it's page hit. Okay, so Let's proceed. 2. Now, 2 is not available inside the frames. So, that's why 2 P is page fault. Okay. So, let's put 2 in the first available frame that is F1. Now, F2, F3 both are empty right now. So, I will place a cross for page fault. Okay. Next page 3. Again, 3 is not available inside the frames but we don't have to place 3 inside F1 because right now available frames are there. So next available frame F2. So let's put 3 in F2 and F3 still empty. So this one F2 no replacement right now but this is a page fault okay so again another cross next page 2 now again just we have to compare 2 with the contents of the frames and right now 2 is available already inside the frames so we don't have to place 2 again into the frames so this one a page hit okay so this one page hit fine next page 1 again we have to compare with the frames and yes 1 is not available so 2 3 and luckily right now we have 3 available frames okay so no need to replace any page fine so place 1 inside frame 3 okay f3 now next page 7 now 7 is not available inside the frames and interestingly no free frames are available that means we have to replace a page from the frames okay and okay now which page we have to replace okay uh, as per LRU concept we have to replace the list recently used fine so if we compare the pages those are right now available inside the frames and then just uh, we can find out the list recently used frame okay so which one is the least recently used frame so obviously three is the culprit okay so here uh, we have to replace three fine that means uh, f2 will be free after the replacement and seven will be available that means we can place seven page seven inside frame two or f2 so again two is there seven and one fine now previous one page fault next one is also page fault so how many page faults are available in this calculation obviously four only one page hit so from this uh data you can easily calculate the hit ratio or miss ratio okay fine now uh, this is okay how to convert this logic into a code that we have to find out so if we analyze uh, the example i think we can have three cases right uh, what are the cases number one number one page hit okay page 
it that means page is already available inside the frames okay so this is the first case no problem second case page fault this one or maybe this one okay page fault right now two is not available in these frames but three frames are available okay page fault but three frames now case three again page fault but no three frames okay no frames are available to accommodate that page so we have to solve these three cases number one page hit number two page fault but uh, we can accommodate that page um, in three frames okay and three case three page fault but no availability of the frames fine so we have to implement these three cases now before uh, coming into the logic uh, let's uh, analyze the input part that means how many variables we require for this coding okay now obviously uh, we need two arrays one for page number of pages so this is the first variable next we need another one for frames next uh, we need a, a page fall variable that will uh, just uh, save the number of page faults so we can have one fault variable next um, some loop counter and uh, obviously number of pages number of so number of pages n p number of frames and later we will uh, use the variables as per the requirement okay so right now i am not giving too much uh, importance to the variables fine and uh, we need another array actually that is the time array you can use any other name to store the recent uh, usage of the frames okay which frame recently accessed so th this array will store that one because we require uh, this data for replacement of the pages okay so we uh, require the recent access data so that we will store in time array and the size will be same of number of frames okay so that's it now uh, how to initialize empty frames that is the thing first we have to do how to initialize empty frames we can put any minus number okay so for that uh, just one for loop is uh, enough and uh, inside that for loop it's like uh, for say any loop variable i equals to zero i less than number of frames that is uh, nf okay and i plus plus and um, frames i equals to minus one so minus one indicate uh, that the frame is empty okay so this is the initialization part uh, before uh, going to the coding we have to initialize the frames with minus one so that it will indicate that the frame is empty that's it okay fine now uh, let's go to the first step and uh, that is page hit how to implement this uh, case number one okay and that is a uh, page hit now for that uh, what we have to do we have to just compare the content of the page with the content of the frame that's it nothing else so how to compare first a uh, page yes so page now this is the variable i that will control the page array equals to equals to frame content another loop variable okay so if 
this is true that means page is already available in frames okay so that's it that is the logic for case number one now how to do this obviously we require two for loops one for controlling the page another one for controlling the frame so just use two for loops one i equals to zero i less than number of pages so that is np and i plus plus this one again we require another for loop for controlling the frame that may be j j less than nf right number of frames and uh, j plus plus now uh, this is the if condition if this one true that means it's page hit okay now the behavior of the frame will be stored inside the array time so just time j equals to one count variable okay so the value of the count variable actually in is uh, initial value of the count variable uh, is zero okay so whenever uh, it may be page hit or page fault the value of the count okay will be increased by one because for each of the cases uh, we have to access the page right we have to access the frame and so that's why uh, count plus plus so this parameter is very much important for this lru okay count plus plus because we have to remember the recent access uh, this recent behavior of the pages right so this count variable will actually store the recent behavior fine so that is the thing and we are storing that value inside the time array okay and again uh, we have to note down this incident using some flag variable so three cases are there so we need a two flag variable one flag one another flag so both are initialized with zero value flag two so both are initialized with zero fine so in this case we don't require case two and case three so let's put flag one equals to equals to uh, sorry equals to flag two equals to zero uh, sorry equals to one so it will indicate that uh, case one is there so we don't have to go to two or three now uh, next concentration of case two 